Ammonia, ammonia. Ammonia, ammonia. Ammonia, ammonia. There was some What's going on YouTube? It's Jay Wilson, Jay Wilson 07 Instagram, Twitter, Jay Wilson on Facebook, NorthfinUSA.com. Because your fish deserve it, that I promise you. Check out the website. So what are we here to talk about today? Ammonia. What? Ammonia. Yeah, you shouldn't have it. You should know about it, but it should never exist in here. Well, at least longer than what it naturally does. If you have ammonia in any part, I'm talking 0 0.001, 0 0.25, 0 0.15, you're wrong. Ammonia should exist zero, nunca, never, nilch, nada, zero. The big goose egg. Ammonia shouldn't be in there. So if you got it, we got to figure it out. But how does it get introduced? Well, first we have to know that there are two types of ammonia in our tank, NH3, the free ammonia, which is the most deadly. And then there's NH4, ammonium ionized. So that one is still deadly, but not as deadly. I'm not going to get into the science behind it. I recommend you checking it out in one of your search engines. Google NH3, Google NH4. Three, free, four is ionized. So there are two types, but how did they get introduced to this guy? Well, they get introduced a ton of ways. I don't even know what word to use because ammonia can come at you from all angles. Tap water. Did you know that when they put chlorine in the tap water, if you have city water and it comes to your house, if you are the furthest away on that pipeline, it actually can break down to almost zero, meaning that your water shows up to your tap unfiltered, uncycled, unless you have a built-in filter. It's gross, it's toxic from the tap. It's introducing ammonia. But then they introduce this new product called Chloramine. If you look on your Safe or Prime bottle, it'll tell you detoxifies chlorine, chloramine, and ammonia. Well, chloramine has all these, these not all these, but a few hydrogen mixed with ammonia that goes down. It's basically chlorine and ammonia traveling together. It bonds better, it detoxifies, and lasts longer through the pipes. That's why Seachem has engineered Safer Prime. So we already know it can be introduced via tap. It can also be introduced via decomposing organic matter, dead fish, something stuck in the filter. You're overfeeding and it sits in the corner. All of these can play a vital role. Breakdown in the tank happens when your tank is stable and cycled. It just doesn't magically happen because you didn't have a non-cycled you know, tank. You're like, well, I've been cycling this tank for two and a half hours. I've got 0.15 ammonia. I'm good to go. No, you're not. Unless you're using some chemical to keep the tank stable. Any part of ammonia that's happening hasn't broke down nitrite and nitrate and then everything's blah. That's the nitrogen process. So... You have too many fish, not enough filtration, you've got ammonia. If you're overfeeding with too many fish and not enough filtration, you've got ammonia. Do you see the method behind the way the nitrogen cycle works? If your tank is overstocked, if your tank is underfiltered, if you're feeding too much, if your pH is really high and you have warm water, you have just created the atomic bomb of ammonia inside your tank. A pH of eight is 10 times more ammonia than a pH of seven with warmer water. Ammonia ain't playing around. So what can we do to reduce the amount of ammonia in our tank? If you notice you have ammonia in any way, shape, or form, an experienced fish keeper will tell you, stop feeding. 
0.001 ammonia, stop feeding. Now I'm not talking about starving your fish, I'm talking about stopping the food because something is happening and the first thing that comes to mind is you're overfeeding. Check your pH, if it's high, we've got an issue, we've got to get it back down, but if that's the way your fish live, then you need to have the proper filtration. Proper filtration is key in anything you do. Over filter if you can, but at least have the minimum requirement to stock that tank with an awesome filter. Too many fish. It happens in African cichlid keeping the most. You put too many fish in your tank, you feed like crazy, they don't eat some of it, or they eat all of it, and they poop a heck of a lot more, or they poop cleanly, you don't clean, your pH is a little high, your temperature is a little warm, now you've got ammonia like crazy. So then we break down the steps. Stop feeding, aerate, water change, wait a couple days, then rock and roll. So I'm gonna break down how you should start to figure things out when you find out you have ammonia. Now you can't look at your tank and say, well folks, I've got ammonia. It doesn't work. It's clear and it's super toxic. So you're gonna need to test, so I recommend buying a test kit. Whatever you can afford is what you can afford. There are some that are better than others and that's not what this is about. As long as you're testing, that's a great step. But boom, you find out you have ammonia, first step, stop feeding. Done. Start to aerate. If you notice, a lot of this is the same as the others. So you're stopping the food and you're aerating the tank. So you're filtering the tank a lot more. You get a lot of surface agitation. And then you do a water change. Ah, don't do a 90% water change. Just kind of skim it, about 30%. 25, 30% is what I recommend when you have ammonia. Wait two days, check it again. We still got ammonia, something else is going on. We've got decomposing organic matter. We're putting it in from the tap and we're not detoxifying it. Or we've got a dead fish or something in the filter that's causing this issue. So with these tools, you should be able to combat ammonia like no other. Because if there's too many fish in there, there's ammonia introduced, they can't excrete it, it builds up the toxicity in their body, and then flatlines. You'll notice ammonia causes an irritation to the skin and gills. They'll go to the top looking for more oxygen, so you need more surface agitation. We can go in a bunch of different directions. I don't want to confuse you, so let's recap. Ammonia is deadly in any form, whether it's 0.0001 or it's 0 0.50. Ammonia is toxic. You should not have it in a stable tank. There are two forms. NH3, the free, and NH4, the ionized. Not iodized, ionized. What can we do to combat ammonia? Stop feeding immediately. Stop feeding immediately. Aerate your tank. Water change. Check to see if maybe it's overstocked. And remember, pH, heat, the amount of food you feed can also determine the severity of ammonia in your tank. Check your tap. All of these tools should help you keep your ammonia at zero. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to email me at askawaywithj at gmail.com. I, I will be glad to help. I hope this was an informative series of the nitrogen cycle. I hope it was easy enough to understand Ammonia is very complex, nitrite's very complex, they both kill equally as fast, and if you have either of them in your tank, it is not cycled. Nitrite is a slow killer, we should lower it to the minimum possible. That happens with great filtration, perfect media, and awesome water changes. Thank you so much for tuning in, thank you so much for watching, liking, disliking, sharing, calling me names in comments, sticking up for me when people call, call me names in comments. I appreciate everything you folks do. Whether I come and give you information and you get products somewhere else, or you come to me for information and I send you somewhere and you don't go there, that's okay. This hobby is all about being together, moving forward, pushing the boundaries, and that's what we do. Stay motivated, stay up, and you know what's next. <laughs>